I'm using the, uh, um, the, the track of uh, Heritage from my walk-on music. Yeah? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, 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 yeah last yeah. night. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it's great. What's on? Uh, it's, um, oh, what's the song? It's, it's the, on the pre-show. It's the third track off the album. Yeah. I, don't know. I don't even know. I have this big playlist of, of tracks that I use to, to, to come on stage to. That's yeah. cool. And uh, yeah, it's great. That's yeah, really good. Just, yeah. And in Gothenburg too, you did. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I know yeah. war. Oh, is it? Between the two? Gothenburg, city. Stockholm. Uh, and I do both. Oh, yeah? I live there, I come from here. Wow. But you know, people are oh, you from the wrong side of the country. Mm -hmm. Why is that there? I don't know. I don't know. It's just how it is. I don't, do you know? Stockholm is always like, is it? Well, what I gather, people think, uh, the people in Gothenburg like to say, oh, people in Stockholm, it's all, you know. Yeah. That's it. Slither. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but and people in Gothenburg are a bit more uh, open to people from Stockholm. But people from uh, Stockholm are a bit more close to people from Gothenburg. A little bit more yeah, like, mm. city types. Yeah. I think they see, to me, Gothenburg people are a bit, um, it's not true, but they come across as a bit posh. Yeah, yeah. Stockholm more street. No, yeah. really? Yeah. I think it's the more, opposite is more, more town. I know, city. like Gothenburg is a known working class yeah. city, but mm. uh, and when I called home to my brother uh, that lives here from Gothenburg, you know, because yeah. you get an, a bit of an accent, he he thought that I sounded, like, you know, like like a farmer a bit, like it wasn't like you gone a bit country. Yeah. <laughs> It's like it's, it's Gothenburg dialect. It's the the, the, the the second biggest city in Sweden. Yeah. I don't know. People are like that. Though. The people are like that when because uh, I, I grew up in the west of England, in a, and it's in it's traditionally seen as being quite a country area, like sort of farming and you know and and people are, you know they joke about the west of England that people are mm. a bit backward. You know they're a bit sort of you know that's stupid <laughs> and uh, you know they they're like a bit. Unsophisticated, you know, <laughs> and so when uh, when I uh, went to London the first time, and I said, "Oh, I was from Bristol, which is the town I'm, I get there," mm. and the people are so patronising. They're like, oh, Bri "Oh, Bristol! Oh, oh, in the country, in the countryside, <laughs> you know, like you're, uh, uh, you're <laughs> some sort of, you know, simpleton." Yeah. We played Bristol. Oh, did you? Yeah, it's oh, nice there. Oh, like nice. That's like old. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice very old country. town. Very <laughs> country. It's a con did you uh, was the Colson Hall? It uh, was the, the, the academy. The academy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm sure you're going to present what we're doing here because yeah. we I don't have a visual, so okay, we're here. Um, this is a Rockstar exclusive interview, and I'm here. Actually, people can't see where we are, so we might as well say that we're in a bouncy castle in the middle of the forest, Could do. watching owls. Yeah. Oh, so nice, nice <laughs> ring. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that before. <laughs> An oh. owl ring. Oh, look at that. It's just for you. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Uh, um, and uh, I'm here with Bill <laughs> Bailey. Hello. Multi instrumentalist, comedian that you might have seen wearing an Opeth t shirt. Maybe. Maybe, which <laughs> leads me to Mikael Åkfeldt. Hey. Hey, you happen to be in the band of the t shirt. That yeah. Bill yep. sometimes oh, wears. <laughs> well, that's a connection <laughs> straight away. Connection. That's a yeah, yeah. Connection. And also, yeah. you, 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 uh, Mikael, you use some rather dry uh, humor on stage as well. Mm -hmm. Dry not being yeah. bad in this, you know. Mm -hmm. really, it's yeah. all, it's all by accident. For, it's, for my, yeah. Is it by accident though? You don't mean you don't mean to be funny on stage? No, no, no. Do you mean to be funny on stage, uh, Bill? Hopefully. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> someone that's it. Someone's you. already. Yeah. That's enough. Okay. Thank you. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have an assistant? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hang on. Just, just, yeah. This is hello. amazing. Hello. Uh, bye. <laughs> Good. That's how I always answer my phone. There's somebody at the door, I think. <laughs> oh, God. We're so popular. Yeah. Uh, um, is this the first time you meet guys? No. No. Uh, uh, third time. I think so, third yeah. Time. We uh, met Bonnaroo. In Bonnaroo in Nashville. Mm -hmm. It was the first time, yeah, because yeah. um, big festival. Uh, yeah. uh, Mikael was playing there, and um, I was also doing a show there in the comedy tent. And uh, it was, it, I remember it being fiercely hot. Though. Yeah, people died there, I think. Yeah, because oh, yeah. of the heat. Yeah, yeah, oh, because it's, it's not so because cool. you were so awesome. Yeah, but they died because through the, the awesomeness <laughs> through a joke. They died could, laughing. Could happen. Well, nobody could died happen. in our tent because nobody was there. <laughs> and now it we're was, laughing at death. Okay, well that's fine. That's fine. It was kind of a. It was. It was just a. Yeah, 
my first experience doing comedy in a in in a big festival in America, and uh, mm. and it was I was really impressed because the 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 tent was air conditioned, you know, which was that I wasn't expecting, you know, and it's all quite it's all quite American, all very organised, you know, like in Glastonbury, you know, it's not like that at all. You trudge through the mud <laughs> to get to the. And gig. That's a real festival you feeling. Know. Yeah, this was very much like a you know quite quite organised and. So you never had after. a you never thought I'm getting too old for this. Shit. No, no, I not not there, no, no at all. And, uh, but these guys are, were playing out, you know, outside. Yeah, we were tucked away in the back yeah. somewhere at the metal bands. <laughs> but you said no one was there. Were you there, though, to see that? I, yeah, yeah, I was there, yeah, okay. of course. <laughs> so one person in the whole yeah, place. Yeah, well, I, but you actually, could I call you fans of each other? Well, I, I, yeah, I say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, well, yeah. We, yeah, we, yeah. We, we love each other. Yeah, yeah. And we only met like this at third time. We this met also time. at... Uh, in uh, Sonos Sonosphere. Ne yeah. Nebworth. In Nebworth, yeah. Mm. Which is uh which is um He had like yeah. Our stage. Yeah. The uh the uh, Saturn stage. The first and, uh, and only and maybe last comedian to do that? Yeah. Or? Um I know. It, it was uh it was a bit of a you know, like um a, a risk I suppose from the promoters. They thought, you know, a comedian that does music and, you know, it's a bit of a a punt, you know, a bit of a, mm. a sort of risk, but I have a lot. Of, I think there's a lot of crossover between mm. comedy and metal fans. Yeah, I think there's a big, you know, crossover. Certainly, in terms of people that I know that watch stuff I've been involved in, uh, a mm. lot of them uh, go to metal festivals or are into to, to rock or metal. Mm. So I kind of think it wasn't too much of it. Wasn't a huge leap of faith one or the other. Mm. And um, you went down great. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. like I, c I was on the side of the stage and I couldn't you know barely see anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was really it was interesting. Probably. It was one of those gigs I thought, you know, sometimes you do a gig and you think I don't know how this is gonna go. You know, are these people they gonna are they gonna yeah. go for this really? You know, don't like, you think that every time? Well, both of you. Sometimes you know. Sometimes you know. You well. If, I don't know. If you play a, your hometown or something. Or it's different. I think you know. We we just play music basically, and uh, sometimes we find ourselves in a situation where we might be on the bill with bands that have nothing like in common with us, and mm. you know, sometimes it's just a disaster, and sometimes it kind of. Mm. I just, I just thought you said you you might have bill in the band, and I was like, yay! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, you don't need to. You've got plenty of instruments. <laughs> <laughs> Could that happen, though? Uh, yeah. no, oh, I mean, you're musician. releasing the album soon, uh, Pale Communion, and yeah, do you have I any... Have yeah, have don't spread it, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bill oh, leaked it. But no, 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 wait. And you, you already gave him a copy, so there's no chance for Bill to no, uh, be a part I, of I this one. I want to listen to this, so this is going to be on the... Uh, it's done in Wales. Tour bus. Was it? Oh, in, in Rockfield. 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 Yeah. Oh, nice. That's a great studio. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think some, you know, before the show, I thought, you know, okay, it's Nebworth, you know, this is a long tradition of being a, um, a metal festival, you know, all the mm. all that Led Zeppelin played here, and, mm -hmm. you know, there's a, there's a huge legacy of, of yeah. rock, great rock performances here, and not comedy, you know, and so, yeah. and I was thinking, well, but people have paid for the whole weekend, you know, they pay yeah. for the, they buy the ticket and they go and see the bands and the way that, you know, you know Nebworth works is two stages, the Saturn stage and the Apollo stage, and they flip between the two, so mm -hmm. you watch a band and then you shuffle down to the other end of the field and watch the other band yeah. and then you shuffle. And I was thinking, because after me was uh, Slipknot, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, if, you know, if the not fans just are not interested. They'll just go and watch, wait for the knock, Directly, yeah. and then there'll be no, you know, there'll be no one there. There'll be like twelve people sat in yeah. front. And Michael, then, yeah, standing maybe, there. Yeah. Michael, the like, yeah, come on, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a couple That's of people sweet with a to dog. Support each other. Yeah, and then so then I thought, well, oh, okay, maybe if I get a few, then that'd be fine. And then Trevor, who's my guitar tech, mm. um, he went out there beforehand and he looked. He said. He said, Bill, he said, this is going to be a massive crowd because <laughs> there was yeah. already like an hour before there was like, you know, 10,000, 20,000. I think there's 60,000 people, oh my God. you know, which is the biggest crowd in terms of comedy. That's a big crowd. Yeah. You know, and comedy has is, is now become quite a big thing. You know, people play arenas and such yeah. like. But this was, this was you know, huge. And uh, so I didn't quite know how it was going to go. And then uh, it nearly was a disaster because uh, I, I was... Uh, 
I had a mask made of myself, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Because, you know, as a, as a tribute to Slipknot, I thought oh, yeah, I'd yeah, yeah. have a mask yeah, I remember that. of my own face. <laughs> so it was just me. <laughs> it was a latex mask of me with like a beard and an earring and everything. And it fitted over my face like this. And I had a cape. And lots of smoke and dry eyes. And the idea was I had this big Marshall stack that was a door. And the Marshall stack opened up. Like that. And all the smoke came out. And I would walk out in the cape and I'd say, Hello, network. Like this. But I hadn't counted on the fact the mask was really, really tight on my face. So I couldn't speak at all. So I... <laughs> so when you see the, if you go to YouTube and you Google it, I you, tried to find you, 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 footage from there's that. There's a clip, and honestly, it's, yeah. it, I come out and it's like, doom, do, 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 and I come out and it's like, release the dogs of rock, <laughs> and I come out to the microphone and I go, <laughs> and then I have to take the mask off. Oh Christ! <laughs> I remember that. Oh, oh well, that's not I thought that you. was the scariest thing. What's the biggest audience you played for, Michael? Uh, well, I don't know. Wacken has a lot of people when you uh, play Wacken, yeah. Well, that sound, that Germans. Sounds, mm -hmm. um, the Germans, yeah, they love it. It's the like Germans. sixty thousand, you know. Yeah. But yeah. I guess like fifty thousand, not really watching, yeah. just drinking. They're just drinking. Kind but how did you guys discover each other? Well. Uh, well, yeah. I discovered him when we first met because, yeah. like, I heard his name, yeah. and I was like, our, my tour manager is like, Bill Bailey wants to see you. And oh, I was like, so yeah. <laughs> and, and I could tell like the, all the Brits in our, because we have a lot of British people in our crew, and they yeah. were like, they were <laughs> going crazy. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. The, the, Bill is their hero. You know. Yeah. And I was like, we met, and he talked about, you know, rock and rock and yeah. metal, yeah, yeah. and I'm listening to, you know, bands and and, and mm -hmm. me discovering, you know, Mikkel's um, music, you know, through um, through I think uh, being at, you know, like I, I I listened to a lot of, I was trying to listen to lots of different music, you mm -hmm. know, and I think I must have either heard some, you know, uh, I heard an, an album, I think I heard Blackwater Park, I mm -hmm. think that was the first one I heard. Because then I think what it was was because I played at the Albert Hall and yes, you, you recorded the whole thing there, you know. Yeah. And mm. so that was where I thought, oh god, this is really interesting. So I, mm. You know, I loved it. It's like this is exactly my up my street. It's kind yeah. of interesting sounds. I mean, you know, like all kinds of different instruments, longer tracks. You know, your folk music. So you have some of it was death metal growl. Some of it was more lyrical you mm. know and uh, and i loved that it was it had such a broad sound and uh, yeah. a palette anyway it's kind of rooted mm. in in british pr prog rock prog, too yeah with uh, the swedish kind of death metal yeah. Yeah. Band. right yeah, yeah exactly that's it and it, it, it and and it sort of uh you know then i can and then once you once i get you know like i find something like that that i really like mm. then that's it you know, i have to find everything you know yeah. i li yeah. listen to all the albums find out more and then of course and I, I found out you guys were playing at Bonnaroo so we came to say hi. You like Mastodon too, I know. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, those guys as well, there's, there's a sort of, I mean that's, you know, <laughs> to me, that, to me that, that if you have an album, a concept album based on Moby Dick, <laughs> yeah. you know, that's, that's I mean, you can't get any more prog than that. No. That's <laughs> ultimate prog, you know, that's yeah. just, you know, like. Did you hang out with them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy, yeah. crazy people. Yes. Funny. funny they are. Crazy. They're crazy very how? funny. Yeah. Wow. Well, they're yeah. just the If you met Brent, stories. the guitar player Brent. Brent. Yeah. I mean, yes. he's got like a tattoo covering half of his face. He tattooed his head. <laughs> yeah, he tattooed his head. <laughs> he tattooed your own head. Then. And he always has like a cast. You know, he always broke something. <laughs> yeah. Leg he's or a hand. A, it's a fashion statement. Yeah. <laughs> Walking no. around in a cast. He's always, yeah, he's, he's always getting into trouble. And, yeah. Uh, and um, when. Uh, I, I, the year after Sonosphere I, uh, in Nebworth, um I got uh, awarded this uh, Spirit of Metal Award mm. at the, the Metal Hammer Awards, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. And so Gold, I, Golden Gods. The Golden yeah. Gods, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. one. <laughs> so <laughs> so one. I went along and uh, and I thought, oh, this is going to be fun and a uh, nice evening. And Mastodon were up for a best album. And, and so anyway, we had a nice evening and there was free rum. <laughs> and free ale beer and I just got so drunk I was absolutely I was shit faced and I didn't know what so anyway 
and then I ended up on stage with Brent. In, I had him in a headlock, and he had me, a, and we were f fighting on the stage over this award. And I went home with their award, and they went home with mine. <laughs> no. Yeah. But that's pretty cool, though. Yeah, it's kind of, I suppose, chaotic rock and roll. <laughs> he's, 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 I love the guy. I love the guy to bits, but he's, he's crazy, yeah. and he's do, you know, taking whatever he can find, you know, yeah. say no more. But mm. it's like, you know, uh, volatile. Yeah. But then... I went, we played a festival with them, and uh, I brought my kids, and I needed someone to, to watch my kids as I was playing, so my mother came with me. Hmm. And I was going to say, Brett, I thought you were going to say, Brett, look yeah, up there. Yeah, we're that too. I would, like, Great honestly, father. I would have let, let, you know, let him, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's a uh, brother. Kind of. yeah, yeah. But, like, I've seen him on his, I think, kind of worst behavior, and then his mm. best behavior. And when he met my mother, he had a poncho, I remember, on, like a pon like a Mexican yeah. poncho. And met my mother, and he was so like, hello, man, you know, nice to see you. you know, <laughs> talking, I only talked to my mom, and he tried to give her, uh, give my mom his poncho, I remember at that. Oh, and that's nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My kids were just like, he's got stuff in his face. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is something. Uncle Brent. He's going <laughs> to look after you from now on. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be your fantastic. moral oh, guardian. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're good. It would have been fun. Yeah, they're, they're great. They're great. Uh, I saw them actually. I saw their set at Sonosphere in uh, on the stunt during the afternoon. It was terrific. And um, that Biffy <laughs> Clara was on there as well. And, uh, and I didn't see yeah, it. Didn't? Oh, right. I tried to do a, like a, a funny thing here, but no one will see <laughs> see it because you did an interview with Biffy Clyro yeah. and you were wearing an Opeth t-shirt oh yes that's why I'm wearing a Biffy Clyro t-shirt oh, okay. today it's like a bit so it's fun for us three I okay. have never heard them huh? what uh. okay but now it's like maybe you'll discover something now. Yeah. maybe not I don't know maybe I don't like it don't uh. okay so you you um, you're finishing your tour um, in I don't know what date it is, like two weeks? Yeah. You're finishing off in Bergen, right? In Bergen, yeah. Uh, the Black Metal, Black metal Capital. Yes, of that's it. Oh, will you play, will you play a immortal song, Call of the Winter Moon, on the horn? Uh, if I can practice it yeah. in time, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> and Good the luck. crab walk that he does. The crab oh, yeah. walk, it's important too. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. He, they didn't, did not originate. That's Black and Lawless from Wasp. Oh. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of. Uh, that's right. some good, I mean, you know, the horn. It's an amazing video. You have to, you have to yeah. watch it if you haven't seen it. Why do you think there is that? There is this. Uh, that it came from Norway then and Sweden. Where's this? Why this? This sort of the metal. It came dark. from Newcastle. <coughs> yeah, from Venom. Venom. Was it? Yeah, Venom. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Stockholm, Bathory. Yeah. 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 And, and many, yeah, Norway. many Norwegian yeah. bands like Bathory. But it's um, a guy from uh, Fenris from Dark Throne said it's exhaustion of easy life. Because mm -hmm. they have no problems in Norway, really, and it's the same in Sweden. So it's like you get bored, you feel alone, you don't fight any wars, you don't have any starvation, yeah, nothing. A bit of so that's what morbid happens. Morbid introspection. So you feel like you I have to burn churches. It's yeah. a counter reaction because it's, it's so religious there. Mm, it's very religious. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I've been to Norway a lot, and I've been to Brazil, which also is very religious. Yeah, America sure. too, but. I think Norway's the top. But Norway's of like the 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 the, the they're this riches creases. They they're all <laughs> got this oil money. They're, yeah. They're incredible. Right Sam, now. Salmon. Yeah. salmon salmon money. Salmon, salmon yeah. money. Just like Ian Anderson. It's the national debate today, so all Norwegian people will be drunk today. Oh really? The same as is every day in Sweden. It? Oh, is it their national day today? Yes. That's what the flags are for. Yes. But have you noticed though? Because we Swedish people, we're like, we're like reversed goths, really. Because yeah. in the winter mm. you don't see any people in the streets, but as soon as the sun comes out, everyone is out. Mm. You, you you didn't even know these the, people exist. No, you, did, you didn't even know that many people lived in Sweden. Mm. But I don't think that we really react on it. It's just, but is no. it the same in England or? Oh God, yeah. I mean, even if it's if it's not raining, people go out to the park, you know. And then think the slightest, good weather. <laughs> slightest, you know, hint of sun. Yeah. People just, you know. Yes. Well, then it's the same. Take the day same. off work, and we don't have much sun here. So when yeah. it's out, everybody's out. But yeah. the funny thing is, people say like, "Oh, you're going to London? Oh, in October? Oh, wow, it's going to be raining." 
No. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's no different from here. No. It is, it's very similar. And I suppose that there is, I mean, there's, there's not that many metal bands, actually, that's the thing. I mean, there are a few. I mean, there's a mm. few new metal bands in Britain, but um, mm. not as the, it's not such a big scene as it is perhaps here no. or Scandinavia or it's, Finland. Do you have all yeah, the uh, really originators, people? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's all these yeah. guys, you know, the, the sort of, you know, the, yeah. the, the first wave. The and the, yeah, yeah, the terrible. Yeah. And Athema started with the Doom, and then they turned into something completely different, and then Swedish bands came after, and, you know. Yeah. But we're, I don't know, we, we are happy when we drink, yeah. <laughs> otherwise we're pretty much sad, but we create great music. Yeah, so that's it. Abba. Yeah, Abba. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask, I mean, if you could, maybe you'll do something together at some point, if there's a possibility that maybe an Abba cover show or something. I'll be, be yeah? the blonde girl. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. The blonde uh, girl, but who is the blonde the girl? Blonde. Uh, Ag Agneta. Agneta. Yes. Fa how and do you say it? Felsko. That's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. And the other one, Annie Frid. Yeah. She's Norwegian. Stud. Is she? Yeah, Perhaps? she's no, yeah, she, oh, yeah. She's, yeah, she is Norwegian. Her dad was Norwegian. God, that's a big but shock. But who's Bjorn and who's Benny? Oh, I don't know. We have to find. The one named Bjorn. Bjorn yeah. in in English is it's bear. Yeah. Yeah. He's the one that doesn't look like a bear. Oh, okay. That's a rule to he remember. Kind of looks like a bear. Yeah, but now both do because they have bears in them. But well, it was an old rule, you know, to know we who was We have to be careful who. what we say, they might own this hotel. <laughs> True! <laughs> they they so, own yeah. Sweden, so what can, what can we yeah. do? What can we do? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, uh, no, I, I'm doing, uh, as a tribute to the, uh, the 40th anniversary of Waterloo, yeah. I'm going yeah. to do a, a version of uh, Waterloo in my show in the style of Rammstein. So, uh, of course, um, in the style of Rammstein. Of course, which works out quite nice. Wasserloo. 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 Yeah. Schließlich ein Gegen, mein Wasserloo. You know, sort of, it lends itself very well to the German. <laughs> very well. What yeah. style would you do it in, Michael? If you did a, an, a, a dancing queen, what style? I don't know. Uh, Swedish folk. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's a bit closer to what it is. Yeah, it's, it's all really, I guess. Still yeah. good, still good. It must. It's. It, I don't know. I, I don't know how what to talk about. You know, how how do you? I mean, what what is Swedish people view of Abba? Because you know, for many years it was like that was the uh, that was the music that came from Sweden. You know, when yeah. I, when when I was a kid, you know, that was they were the that was it in terms of Swedish music, and I and and it, it cast a huge. I mean, it's a, an immense you know sort of cultural. Long but now challenge. it is turning to so much metal. We have s uh, the export from here. Is, is yeah. crazy. But also, do you write a lot of? I mean, the Swedish producers, writers, yes, they write yes, a lot yes, of pop yes, music yes. as well. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, dominate the whole. They have a, some type of team. Yeah. yeah. Writing for Britney Spears and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. But for, with ABBA, I think most people are fans. Yeah. Mm. I, even if they don't, they're like oh, I don't like them secretly listening to them. <laughs> right, with, yeah. with like with the, as it is across the world, I think. Sure. Mm. With Abba, it's not like uh, completely cool to be an Abba fan. No, no it's not cool. But it's I, I heard that's what brought Rainbow together, the band oh, Rainbow. Right. Yeah. Cozy Powell sat, sat down talk, talking to the other guys, and they all had a common fascination for Abba. Richard right. Blackmore, Cosmo, oh. oh, wow. and the rest, all out of hands. So music brings music <laughs> together. Yeah. All right, I kiss, no, I've got an image now of Cozy Powell and <laughs> <laughs> Richard Blackmore sitting around, <laughs> sitting around jamming, going, thank you for the music. It's probably what happened. Yeah, that's a great song, by the way, since you've been gone. Oh, oh, I yeah. was playing that the other day. That's a great pop song, but that's a pop song, really. I mean, it's got it's a great a hook, song. you know. That's, that could be an Abba song in another in incarnation. A good song is a good song. Yeah. He was Aussie, was it? Graham Bonnet, was he? Graham Aussie? Bonnet, yeah. Aussie? He was an Aussie, yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. he was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I'm totally agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Uh, we're going to let you uh, prepare a little okay. bit for tonight. Mentally, yeah. Uh, yeah, put on your uh, mask of mask yourself. yourself. I love that idea. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'll copy that. Yeah, I'm going to steal your that. Because yeah. you just take it off and you look exactly the same. <laughs> no, that's the idea. You, you, Mike, do you have a tour coming up or something you can prepare for? Should you do well, a mask right now? Yeah, yeah. Well, I should, should, should get to work with, with the mask making. Yeah, good, yeah. good. Hope to see you soon with a new album coming out and everything. Yeah, and fantastic. But we will... 
when you prepare, I think that we will get a bottle of Malibu and just go scream at some pigeons. Okay, yeah, you. yeah, that's that's how I prepare. That's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's, like sort of primal scream therapy. Yeah, yeah, that's what we will do, I think, <laughs> before seeing you tonight. All right. Really great talking to you both, guys. Thank you, likewise. Cheers. And, We're uh, going to do yeah. a sound like this. Skål. Skål. <laughs> I don't have anything. I'm empty. I'll, I'll do this on the owl ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not like I bought it for you, but I saw it at home. I was like, yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's Thank you. Right, thank you.